now I'm going to bring up Stefan Hofer, and uh, he's going to speak to you about Innsbruck. Okay, good afternoon everybody. My name is uh, Stefan Höfer. I'm professor of psychology at the Medical University in Innsbruck. And Innsbruck is the town you all are going to next year. Um, first of all, I want to thank ISQUOS and uh, all the executive board for accepting our proposal to have uh, the next annual meeting in Innsbruck in Austria. My objectives now for the next 10 minutes or so is to give you a brief overview about Innsbruck, where you are going and what you can probably expect there. So from Seoul we have to go <laughs> quite a distance, it's about 13 hours flight uh, and you can fly to Innsbruck via Frankfurt for example. Uh, yeah, as I said before, 13 hours, it's doable. <coughs> to give you a bigger picture where Innsbruck is, Innsbruck is close to Munich, to Zurich, to Milano, somehow in between there, some people may know Salzburg or Venice because this course was in Venice once before. So that's where we are located in general. Uh, I went through the list of all the IS, uh, ISQOS conferences which I found on the web page and I didn't see any ISQOS conference in Austria so I thought it would be a good idea to have it there. Um, and as I see, uh, last time ISQOS has been in Europe it was 2014 so it's about three years, maybe it's a good time also to visit Austria or Europe again. A few facts about Austria. Austria has about the size of South Korea. Um, we just have 88,000 square kilometers. Um, we're, we're about South Korea is about 100,000 square kilometers. Um, in contrast, we just have 8 million people living there. Uh, in total, we have nine counties, and each county, or not each county, six counties have main universities. There are, uh, of course, there are many more universities, but really big universities, universities are in Vienna, they're in Linz. Uh, they are in Salzburg, they are in Graz, or in Klagenfurt, or where you will be going to in Innsbruck at the very end of Austria, in the western part of Austria. Um, maybe a few indicators about Austria. Vienna is uh, repetitively uh, ranking number one in terms of quality of living. It changes places with Zurich from time to time, but it usually stays up there on top. And Innsbruck itself, uh, on the other side, is considered to be on, on the rank 12 of the uh, medium-sized European, medium European cities. So it's quite a, a good place to go and, and visit and be there, and actually to live there. Um, Innsbruck is placed within Tyrol. Uh, Tyrol has about 700,000 inhabitants. It's a country for hikers and bikers, golfers and climbers. Uh, basically, it's a paradise for nature and water lovers. As you can see, you can really climb. That's Innsbruck downstairs, <laughs> down, down at the bottom. <laughs> it's fun to do that, but I use, I, I'm much more likely into, into cycling here. And I want to show you a brief movie about Tyrol.
And some of you may already have been there to, uh, to Austria, Innsbruck. Maybe not physically, but maybe saw some movies and uh, did some research which movies have been explicitly shot in, in, in Tyrol. Uh, very old one, an Alfred Hitchcock one. Um, it's called The Mountain Eagle. Um, Omar Sharif, The Last Valley. Uh, some modern ones like Triple X or uh, Seven Years in Tibet with Brad Pitt. Also The Born Supremacy was shot there, or parts of it were shot there. One Hell of a Ride, which is about the skiing. And just recently, uh, James Bond Spectra was also uh, shot there. And w I stumbled across a South Korean director who also shot in Austria. It's the, the movie is called <laughs> The Real Inglorious Bastards and was shot by Moon Sok Lee from uh, South Korea. <laughs> so you may have seen parts of Tyrol there already. Um, <laughs> So, as I said, we're going to Innsbruck, and Innsbruck calls itself the capital of the Alps. It has about 115, 120,000 inhabitants. Uh, in addition, 27 students. Out of that, about 10,000 international students. And it has three, uh, three universities, and it's considered one of the European best destinations to work and live. And I want to show you again a brief movie about Innsbruck. Oh, what I forgot to tell you. We also have hosted the Olympic Games in Innsbruck, like you're going to host next year, two years, uh, in, in, in South Korea. Uh, we hosted the, the Winter Olympic Games in 1964 and in 1976, and in 2012 we had the Youth uh, Olympic Winter Games there as well.
that is something you can experience next year. So just a few more facts. Currently the team consists of two, uh, but we will be joined by many more. Professor Mariano Rojas as the chair of the scientific committee and myself as chair of the local organizing committee. Um, to mark your calendars, uh, there will be a call of abstracts starting sometime in November this year. The deadline for abstract submission will be in February 2017. We'll provide feedback about acceptance during March 2017. The early bird deadline will be in June 2017. The final program will be available about the same time, June, July, and we'll have our conference uh, then in September. Uh, you all got um, in your conference bags one of these uh, cards and you were encouraged to answer the tricky, the tricky question, is close 2017 will take place in Innsbruck, Austria or Innsbruck, Australia? We didn't want to pick Innsbruck, USA because there's actually an Innsbruck in the USA. Um, and put in your email address and we can give away three, three free registrations. And what I'm going to do now, I'll, I'll open the box and draw three, uh, the three registrations. <laughs> These are the three registrations, right? <laughs> Brute force. I'm not looking. Okay. So the first one, the answer is correct. <laughs> and I have difficulties reading the email, but I'll probably find it out in the end. It's the, uh, the end of the email address is a Belgium. Uh, Belgium. <laughs> Jorit Kemp Jorit Kempens No, he, he for sure he for sure gets it. We'll send him we'll send him an email, that's why there is the email address. So that's that's our first that's our first uh, winner. He gets a red cap. Okay. The answer is correct as well, Innsbruck, Austria. It's a yahoo.com address. Nati Kadina. Hooray! Congratulations. <laughs> so here you go, that's your free registration. I'll keep that so I remember who it is. So, and the last one. Correct answer. Set A stands for South Africa. Yes. Tally Tack. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> So that's your. So now the three of you, you all have to come, of course, but the rest <laughs> is more than invited to, to join us next year. So for me, that's, that's basically it. I'll just give you one 30 seconds final clip, and then I think we'll continue with you.